Hello, it's been a busy week with boating, the time change, and gearing up for the holiday season. So let's take a little break and enjoy this week's Explore Tulsa as we start the show by getting game ready. Then we'll see what's cooking. Followed by the tale of the dragon. Plus the singing, songwriting sisters. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Hello, and thanks for making time to be a part of this week's Explore Tulsa. Now, lots of Royals fans out there had a lot of reason to celebrate with their team's accomplishments this season. That's right, Stevie. The Royals were the first team to enter the World Series by winning eight games in a row during postseason play. But now that the season's over, it's time to get ready for next year. And for some of the newest ways to get game ready, we found the Athletic Mission Baseball Academy. You walk around batting cages, all around America, um, you go to baseball games and you see people hitting the ball. Now, is it is it difficult? Sure, but is it the hardest thing in the world to do? Try hitting a golf ball. <laughs> yeah. I was born deaf in both my ears. You can imagine the the struggles I've had just to be a functional member of society and uh, I use sport as a way to escape from reality and the only thing I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed being outside, I enjoyed it and I was good at it, you know, plus I can, you know, take them out and uh, be in the zone. So uh, it was something that carried me all the way to high school and uh, going into uh, college. I played at Florida Golf Coast uh, University down in Fort Myers, Florida, and uh, ended up getting drafted after that, and uh, got hurt, got hurt, got hurt playing, I threw my shoulder out, and uh, had a chance to uh, kind of revisit everything that I've ever learned, and uh, found a lot of flaws in, in just about everything, the strength and conditioning aspect, the hitting aspect, the throwing aspect, um, and uh, that kind of got me to where I am. A lot of times what we'll do, one of the first things we'll do is what was called cognitive training. So cognitive training is the, the mind's ability to be aware and be focused. So we know that um, being aware and being focused deals with, um, with the amount of information that we're being taken in. It's dealing with multiple tracking objects. So we have a system here that allows us to work on that aspect of the game. So it's been very beneficial for this, for what we're trying to accomplish. And then of course, we do the actual mental games uh, training part, which is the uh, almost like sports psychology type of stuff. So implementing strategies that will keep us, allow us to play, you know, one pitch at a time and, and get past, you know, maybe a, a mistake or an error or something that we did to allow us to keep our progress forward. The mental side of the game, not a lot of people teach, and not a lot of people know how to teach it. And I think they're the, I think that's the first thing they need to work on, you know. And uh, when I put all this together, I knew I finally had a model here that could really make it faster, to accelerate that development faster. Um, at, at the end of the day, it's about player development. And what I'd like to see happen here is kids come through here. They understand the in-season program, they also understand the off-season program, and they incorporate the specialized training and the mental side of the game, and, and really just take, take their game to a whole new level and potentially play at that college level or even that professional level that they probably didn't have a chance to otherwise. I, I, I love the game. Um, I'm a student of the game. I watch the game all the time. I do a lot of, I'll be, I'm more of a, I spend more time analyzing, you know, with video analysis nowadays, uh, hitting and pitching, than I do watch the game. But I still, I still watch the game and I, you know, we can take the World Series as an example. It comes down to the ninth inning, two outs and a runner on third base. I mean, you never know what can happen. And it's, and it's, uh, it's definitely a game that, uh, you can learn a lot, not only just in baseball, but carry it into line. 
Jeff has a great mind for baseball and all the right equipment to make just about anybody a superstar. If you're looking to step up your game, visit athletic-mission.com. I like the way you put that, Coach. Step up your game. Yeah? You think you could take me in the indoor home run derby? I bet a baseball cake I can. You're just looking for an excuse to stop in at the Heirloom Bakery. You're just full of great ideas, Trish. Let's go there next and meet Margarita when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hello, and thanks for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Now, Stevie, you had a lot of birthdays in October, didn't I you? I sure did. One of my sons, two of my daughters, my granddaughter, my dad, all October birthdays. Next to Christmas, it's the most expensive month of the year for oh, me. You probably have a lot of experience picking out the right cake, too. There are lots of good ones out there, Trish, but you can't go wrong by visiting Heirloom Bakery. Our company is Topeka Coffee, or, and uh, we used to bake everything at each shop. We have one at the Mayo, one at the Hyatt, then we also have Hodges Bend, which is a coffee shop cocktail lounge, and uh, we decided that we wanted to centralize all of our baking, and that's why Heirloom Bakery came to be. We have a, been here since October of last year, and first we were just baking, baking, baking for the shops, and then we decided, uh, huh, might as well just open to the public. And uh, in January, we opened up, and it's been a success. Not only do we bake for our shops, but we uh, have consumers coming in here for their pastries and coffee as well. We focus on all kinds of pastry. If you want it, we can make it. Uh, but basically, we have a lot of morning food, breakfast. We have breakfast sandwiches. We have all kinds of croissants, chocolate croissants, ham and cheese croissants. Uh, we have our famous quiches. Uh, we do, our most famous one is the quiche Lorraine and our veggie quiche, but we also have sandwiches, homemade soups, um, and of course all of our baked goods, cakes, cookies. We cater events from 10 people to 200 people, from uh, hors d'oeuvres to desserts. We do a lot of wedding cakes, birthday cakes, cupcakes, cake balls, anything sweet we make and we have it. Uh, 
a lot of our afternoon crowd it's a lot of kids that come in for that treat or uh, people that need some dessert uh, so yeah we have a lot of different options we start around five in the morning and bake our breads we also make a uh, bread homemade breads from scratch uh, you don't see that anymore no preservatives no just made from scratch uh, and then we make our breads and then we um, stock everything for the bakery and then um, every morning we bake for the shops as well so before 9 a.m everything is done and the shops are restocked and then all through the day we just make all of our cookie doughs and anything we can prep for the day for the next day. We love Tulsa. I'm not from Tulsa but I feel that I'm a Tulsa. My husband he's originally from here so uh, this is our home and we want to we started this our company 10 years ago and we just wanted it to offer Tulsa great products, great coffee, great food. So it means a lot to us and we are always striving to give you all a better option on coffee and food. Margarita has created such a friendly atmosphere at her shop. And I love one of those quotes on her website. It's from Julia Child. A party without a cake is just a meeting. Well, if you want to make your meeting a party, visit the heirloombakery.com to see their menu and much more. Oh, I see you've uh, hopped on your pretend motorcycle again. Yeah, this time I'm hitting it hard and traveling the 318 curved 11 mile stretch of road that makes up the tail of the dragon along the North Carolina Tennessee state line. Hold on there, mm. easy rider. Why don't we talk to a couple of video rev guys that have actually been there on a real motorcycle next and we return with more Explore Tulsa. Hello friends. I'm out in the woods today, hunting for those very desirable and elusive Silverados. Wow, look at that one. Did you see the rack on that one? Look at that little beauty there. You know, at Danny Beck Chevrolet, our hunting grounds are also our proving grounds. We're out to prove to you we have the best prices in the state. Remember, go back for more. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. You better hold on to your seat. That is, if you're born to be wild. We more explore Tulsa. Oh, brother. You know, if you were actually a little taller, you might be dangerous. Danger is my middle name, Trish. And on top of my ride, I'm as tall as the rest of them. Uh, you know you don't actually own a, a real motorcycle, right? Yeah. But if I did, I'd have been right out there with Video Revolution technicians Shane and Tim taking on the tail of the dragon. I program all the uh, all our uh, conference rooms. It just depends on what you'd be getting. You know, usually we do uh, multi-room audio and uh, sometimes a multi-room video, where you just have uh, a, a specific set of sources. You know, like DVD, Apple TV, satellite. Uh, and then you can distribute that to all your other rooms, and that's what everything's moving to. Do commercial conference rooms. Uh... We do a lot of microphone systems, speakers, screens, TVs uh, to display projects that are going on in the conference room, whether they're using the click share technology, which is a wireless just USB into your computer, push a button, go from there. Depends on the, each application, really. So we both like motorcycles. Um, been planning this trip for about nine months. Uh, something we were looking forward to. Uh, 
knew that Birmingham had their Vintage Bike Week. Um, they have it every year in October, and I knew that that was coming up. Plus, I figured we're already going to be in Alabama. We might as well cut to North Carolina. Fall foliage is coming in. Be nice to go ride a few of the well-known roads in North Carolina. We went to a place in uh, North Carolina uh, called the Tail of the Dragon, which is like a 11, 11 or 12 mile road that has 318 turns, which is just a, it's a world famous road to go ride down and that's pretty much what we took it out there to go do. And it does it just fine. I can't do it very well. <laughs> I'm not that good of a rider, so. <laughs> I have a 74 Honda CB360 that is a vintage and I did it like a cafe racer style. Tried to stay true to the era of the 70s and then I did a few modern things as far as like I did uh, my bike had drum brakes and for safety reasons I wanted to put on disc brakes as well as the lights. I took and put all the LED lights in because they're brighter. Um, I stripped mine down to the frame and rebuilt the bike from the ground up. So I did a lot of little detailed oriented things that you, you'd have to look at it and know what you're looking at to see them all, but there's so many little detailed things where it's just hours of me being bored in my garage saying, oh, I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this. But when it was all done, well, it looks pretty amazing. We ended up, we made our way to uh, Birmingham and uh, stopped by their motorsports uh, racetrack which they were hosting a, a big vintage uh, bike show um, and races through that weekend. So we went there and uh, went, uh, went down into the pits, got to look at all the bikes and uh, watch a few races. And uh, we went over to, uh, to have a, uh, basically it's like a little building inside the uh, racetrack where you can see how they've got TVs in there. It's just like a big glass. It's about three stories tall and you can go up in there and watch the track. He had a lot of he had a lot of the ideas for going checking out the museums and the uh, and the motor uh, the raceway, which it turned out to be a really good uh, trip. What a great experience! Two workers, compadres, working and playing hard together. Why don't we ever do anything like that together, Trish? Why don't I uh, get back to you on that later, Stevie? But if you're interested in the trip for yourself, visit tailthedragon.com or come on in the Video Revolution and have Shane and Tim tell you all about it. You know what we do need to do is start getting ready for the Christmas party. You're right, Stevie. All the best places in vans go fast. I know who we need to get, the Singing Sisters. And no, they're not nuns, but they are fun, very talented too. You have to be talking about Camille and Haley, and we'll visit them next when Explore Tulsa continues. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 clients to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. At Bitter Revolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Hopefully on and operate it. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. Hello there. If you are a lover of truly talented Tulsans, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Two such Tulsans just happen to be sisters who love to perform together. Camille and Haley are two of the sweetest people you'd ever meet, and they love to share their passion for music with everyone they see.
wish that it could be just like it was Wish that I could stare into your eyes And forget to blush I wish I didn't like you so much I wish that I could take it back a notch I wish that I could think about your smile Without falling in love I wish I didn't like you My name is Camille, and I started at 10 years old in the kitchen, and Haley started in the kitchen as well. At How old are you? 13. 13. And so she was singing, I was playing guitar. And then 13, you started playing guitar, guitar to too, because I wanted to learn Taylor Swift's Tim McGraw. It's her first song she ever came out with, and I was like, oh, I needed to play that song. So I was <laughs> in my room for probably two or three hours just learning those four chords, you know, and I realized how easy they were later, but it was just good memories for me. Game on, join the fight. We finally got a man who will stand for what is right. Game on. We just played together uh, for like the first time, all of our family on the stage of our church, like maybe like a day or two before we made this video for Rick Santorum in 2012. We got really inspired by him and listening to him speak and his values and uh, his policies. And so I was like, what can I do to help him? And um, someone said, how about you write a song and I'll help you share it. Next thing you know, it like went to a million views in two weeks. We started traveling with Rick Santorum. We had a lot kids, of parodies. Seven, eight kids on stage, <laughs> all jamming out, air guitaring, really. Like, they weren't really playing. <laughs> no, and we had somebody that did a parody that was actually how people were actually playing the instruments and how it would really sound. If it was like, really... There's no piano in there. We just had my mom, you know. It was kind of funny. It was fun. <laughs> Singing at the golf course really sharpened our skills a ton because we were singing like twice a week. Um, our, our friend Jim said, everybody here is about 50 and up that really plays golf all the time. You have to learn Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Klein. And we're like, what? <laughs> No. <laughs> and then we like didn't know like almost any songs from any of the artists. We'd just heard them in passing maybe over the years. We didn't even know On the Road again we until I, I heard a reindeer, a talking reindeer at the flea market singing it. And I was like, oh, it, it is, is famous. a famous song. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, we should learn that okay, song. Okay, so we're the, we're the, uh, the rookies. But we just put our own little spin on it. And yeah, that's yeah, fun. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. Desire, I fell in to a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. It went down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. We've definitely grown up. Well, first from a big family, and my dad's always been like, my girls sing, and like, sing now, and people are like, oh, don't make them sing. We're like, yes, we want to sing. sing, and so uh, we'll just like break out and song anywhere, and we're very like people-oriented. We really want to make an experience for the people that come to our concerts, or whether it's a concert they thought they were coming to or not, we consider any kind of time that we're singing a concert. And being PKs and working... Pastor's uh, kids. And being pastor's kids and leading worship for two years. Uh, we really, you know. really lost the fear of being in front of people because you realize people aren't like, people are wanting to like you. They people want to love you. People to be They're afraid of. Yeah. Now, do you like the um, na 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 or na 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 There's a room of ball gowns and talk stuff men. It's like a game of dress up. We both pretend. All right. Ready. We just can't stop, and I mean, it doesn't matter what, like, we've done different side jobs, and every time we do anything else, we're like, get me back to the stage. I just want to be singing for people. We see music as, like, a way to influence people, entertain people, um, have fun, be ourselves, and do what we love. Do what we love. 
Those girls are so much fun. And Camille said that she could teach me how to play guitar, so I might join in with them. Oh, that was so nice of her to say. No, she meant it. I think she really saw something in me. It's obvious she's never actually heard you sing then. But if you'd like to book the Singing Sisters for your next event or party without their uh, newest band member, visit CamilleAndHaley.com. Can you play an instrument? Mm -mm. Well, you know, because Trish and Stevie kind of has a ring to it. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, I'm Stephen Lee with Video Revolution. If you ever wanted great home theater sound and thought it was too difficult, I'm gonna show you today how simple it really is. What you're gonna find in the box is, of course, the Sonos soundbar that has nine speakers built into it. It's simple to set up. All you need are two cords, the power cord and the optical cord. One of the things about the Sonos soundbar that makes it so great with the nine speakers that are built into it, it gives you that cinema sound. Television speakers now are much smaller and people have a hard time hearing the dialogue in television. Okay, first, you're gonna take the optical cable that comes with it and plug it into the input of the sound bar. And then the other end, you will plug into the output of the television. Once your optical cable is plugged in, you're ready to go. You can go to Sonos' website for a free download of the app and with your iPad or your iPhone or Android phone, you can control the volume of your new Sonos soundbar. Going somewhere? No? It's as easy as that. Now that it's set up and ready to go, if you're ready for that home theater experience, just come in and see me and I'll show you how it's done. Be sure and join us next week when we stop in at the Skelly Lodge, where you'll learn all the history about it and just how great a place it is for your next event or wedding. We want to thank Jeff at the Athletic Mission Baseball Academy for sharing with us some of the latest in baseball training. Thanks, too, to Margarita and her crew for baking up some of the tastiest treats for us at Heirloom Bakery. And to Shane and Tim of Video Revolution for telling us their experience at the Tale of the Dragon. Plus, thanks to Camille and Haley for continuing to make us smile and feel good with their music. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. And hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Roberts Ulner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal with two locations. 3030 South Harvard and 69th in Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.